Welcome, 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 welcome to the Chop Shop, man. We're live in the midnight hour. Praise God. The first thing I want to do tonight, man, I want to throw a shout out to my niece, Chelsea Chels. Happy birthday, Chels. God bless you. I know you're somewhere having a good time. God bless you tonight. Happy birthday. But, man, we are excited tonight. Glad to have you guys tuning in at the Chop Shop live in the midnight hour. We're taking back the enemy's territory. That's right. The enemy has ran rough shot, rough shot over the midnight hour, but we take it back from him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, my name is Kirk Arnold. I pass the Eternal Word Ministries along with my lovely wife, Pastor Teresa Arnold. We're located at 1739 Highway 85 North, Fayetteville, Georgia, 30214. Man, we invite you guys to come out and uh, just have a good time with us. We'll be meeting live Sunday here at our location, Sunday at 10 a.m. Also, we meet here every Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. Amen. That's right. We're still having church. Amen. You can come in the building or you can tune in with us live. Amen. We got our brand new YouTube channel out. Uh, we need you guys to go subscribe, like, follow us on Facebook, IG, man. Y'all know all that good stuff. But we really need you to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. It costs you nothing to subscribe. Amen. It's free. But it helps us to get the gospel out, and it helps us to build that platform. We're believing for 2,000 subscribers. Amen. So if you would please go to Pastor Kirk Arnold, speak the word only. That, that's right, Pastor Kirk Arnold, speak the word only, and subscribe, like, follow, comment, amen, and make sure you share. Amen. Also go to our Facebook page, Kirk Arnold or Eternal Word Ministries. You can also go to our IG page, our Instagram page. It's Pastor Kirk Arnold. All of those platforms, amen, when you tune in, when you comment, when you share, it help us to uh, enlarge our platform, and it help us to get the gospel out. Man, I'm so excited about the word tonight, amen. Who we have chopping it up with us tonight, amen. Why don't you drop in the chat uh, section or the comment section, Amen. Where you're viewing us from tonight, amen. Rep your county, rep your city, rep your state. Come on, let's chop it up tonight. Man, they got the hearts blowing up. We got Nikki Nina Rose in here tonight. God bless you. Good to have you tonight. Got my lovely wife, Pastor T, in the house tonight. Pastor Ressa, God bless you tonight. Got self-made, amen, says preach. God bless you. We're glad to have you tonight, amen. Who we got joining us on Facebook? Where you at? Come on, let's chop it up. IG, get at me tonight, amen. Where insert words at, amen. Where my son Kirk at tonight, amen. Where Kelsey Kells? Come on, let's get it. Facebook, where you at? Amen. Facebook, let's go. Let's go. Amen. We got Tavares in the house tonight. God bless you, man. Good to see you. Amen. God bless you. We glad to have you guys join us tonight. Listen, man, I got some good news for you, man. Last week we were believing for two, uh, well, we were believing for one person to join us internationally, and we had two. We had a brother, and I pray that I'm announcing your name uh, correctly, uh, my brother, but we had a guy by the name of uh, Kai, Kai Goza, or Kaigozi, Caleb, viewing from Kampala, Uganda. Amen. Let's give God praise for that. Come on, throw up the hand praise. Amen. Throw up the emoji of praise. Amen. And I promise you last week that we had some free gifts for you, man. We're packaging it, everything up, and we're getting those free gifts out to you. Amen. I also want you, if you're watching us tonight, I want you to hit me and let me know, can you handle uh, money from the USA? If you can, can you do cash out? Can you do a money order? Uh, you know, whatever you can do, amen, we want to send you a blessing, amen. Also, on IG, we had another international viewer. We had Marcellus, uh, Marcelo uh, Tejada, or Tejada, and uh, he was viewing for Honduras, amen. Let's give God praise for him, amen. Come on, he was on IG, so we had two. So I'm sending you free gifts as well, my brother, amen. And if you can handle, let me know how you can uh, receive uh, a monetary gift if you can. If not, we're we're getting some uh, ministry gifts together, CDs and and uh, one of our uh, magazines, and we're sending it out. Amen. We got live with us tonight, 
on Facebook, man. We got my nephew. We got Kemp's on in the house. Amen, Marquise. God bless you, man. Thank you for joining in. We got Glenda Flowers in the house. God bless you tonight. I got my mother in the house. Mama Linnell is in the house tonight. Amen. God bless you. We got Hattie Mitchell all the way from Newton County. Newton County in the house tonight. God bless you. Amen. Uh, we also have, who else we have chopping it up with us on the Chop Shop tonight? Man, we are live and we're ready to go. Somebody say amen. Throw up the emoji of praise tonight. Come on, throw up the hearts, throw up the likes. Come on, let's get it. Glory to God. Hallelujah, man. I got all kind of stuff coming at me tonight. Amen. Who else we have here tonight? What is that? Pacey 3. Amen. Coming in, said Mr. Kirk. Nike never looked better on anyone. I know that's right. Woo! Woo! Man, we're rocking the Nike every night. We coming at you, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that comment. Somebody get at Nike, man. We're going to hashtag Nike tonight because Nike got to sponsor their boy Kirk, man. They're going to have to sponsor us, man, because we're putting it down. And I know they've never seen a pastor, man, to uh, put the Nike down like I'm putting it down. Amen. Through the word and through rocking it. Amen. If you believe that, throw the hearts up tonight. Amen. We're going to rock with the Nike all the way out. My wife said it's hot in the chop shop tonight. She got the flames going up. She got the praise going up. Amen. Marquis says glory to God. Amen. Man, we're chopping it up tonight. Who's out there chopping it up with us, man? Come on, let your voice be heard. Praise God. Where my homeboys at? Where they're hired? Where the class of 85 at? I know y'all watching. Come on, let's get it. Amen. Hallelujah. Now listen, tonight, I want to pray for those who you love. Listen carefully. I want you to write in the comment section people who you love tonight because we're talking about real love. So your children, your spouse, your family members, I want you to write them in the comment section because we want to pray over them tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you really love somebody, you pray for them. Say amen to this. Glory to God. Amen. So drop in the, listen, if you have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, amen, a close friend, amen, drop their names in the comment section because we want to pray God's protection, his favor, and his grace over their life in Jesus' name. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 in the NIV says, But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody write victory in the comment section along with your loved one. Who do we have to pray for tonight? Amen. Come on, put your loved one down. We got Richard Burgess in the house tonight. God bless you. We got Kayla Hill chopping it up with us tonight. Woo, woo. Come on, somebody put their loved one down. Okay, we got Glenda Garrett say her family, her spouse, and her friends. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now for prosperity. We pray for protection. We pray for favor and grace over the Garrett's family, Lord God, over her husband, over her friends, Lord God, and over her family. In the name of Jesus. Who else we have? What we have on IG? Anybody want prayer for their friends tonight? Anybody want prayer for someone that they love tonight? Amen. Who got their bay in the comment section? Who got their boo in the comment section? Man, I feel like praying for some relationships. Amen. Some of your relationships, man, you ain't been happy in a while. It's toe up from the floor up. Amen. Man, but I'm going to pray the grace of God, man, and you're going to have love in that house after tonight. Glory to God. Amen. My wife got her children. Amen. Got my son, Kirk. I lift him up now in the name of Jesus for protection, for prosperity, for favor. Glory to God and grace over my son, Kirk's life in the name of Jesus. Man, thank you, Tavares. He got eternal word ministry. My man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Man, we lift up eternal word ministries. We uh, speak prosperity, favor, grace. And blessings over eternal word ministry in the name of Jesus. Self-made preach says, my twin brother. Man, we lift up your twin brother, your niece, and your nephew. We lift them up in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak and decree divine protection, divine grace, divine prosperity, and divine victory. Woo! 
woo, over their life in the mighty good way. God, Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen. Man, I got my boy Tavares coming again with his brother Desmond. We pray over his life right now. Grace, favor, prosperity, peace, man. Who we got chopping it up? Where you at, Facebook? Throw up the hearts. Throw up the likes, man. Come on. Chop it up with me tonight. Reuben Stubbs is in the house, man. What's up, Reuben? Pray for Kalina and Gabby. We lift them up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Prosperity. Uh, blessings, peace, grace, protection in Jesus' name. Hattie Mitchell said, I love my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. Pray for my loved ones. I pray for them in the name of divine protection. Psalms 91, no sickness or disease can come nigh their dwelling. Glory to God. Prosperity, peace, grace, blessing, whoo, favor, Go, oh, whoo, whoo, hallelujah. Somebody chop it up with me tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost in the house tonight. Fire is Popping in this place. Amen. Somebody right is hot in the chop shop tonight. Reuben Stubbs, God bless you, sir. Uh, Sister Anita says, Karan Cooper, glory, God, glory to God. Man, this thing blowing up all over the house. Karan Cooper, glory to God, total deliverance. Amen. Psalm 91, protection over his life, grace for his family, prosperity, peace, and blessing. We got my girl Ange in the house tonight, praying for all students. My God, that's a good one, Ange. Thank you. As they begin to go back to school, we lift up the students tonight, the administration. We lift up Savannah. Savannah State College, in the mighty name of Jesus, we cover your daughter, amen, we cover all of her friends, we cover all of the students, the faculty, amen, we cover everybody in the mighty name of Jesus, Psalm 91, somebody needs to say we are Psalm 91 equipped, glory to God, hallelujah, I pray prosperity over your family, I pray grace, blessings, and peace in Jesus' mighty name. Glenda Flower says, it's hot in the chop shop tonight. I know that's right. Hattie Mitchell said, it's hot in the chop shop tonight. Well, throw up the flames. Throw up the hand praise. Throw up the hearts, the light. Let's keep it hot. Glory to God. God is doing some things. Richard Berza says, chopping it up from Decatur where it gets greater. I know that's right, man. Decatur where it gets greater. Glad to have you in the house tonight. Amen. What do we got on IG? Where they at? Where you at, my IG folks? Come on, Instagram, glory to God. Chelsea Chels, man, her party done took me out. Glory to God. Well, we'll get some more in here then. Uh, okay, here they come, though. Amen, amen, amen. Well, man, Church That Way, praise God. Church That Way is live every Wednesday night at 12 midnight, live in the chop shop. This is a live interactive social media outreach to the millennials and beyond. Our vision is to reach the next generation with the gospel of Jesus Christ and to make serving God the hot thing to do, the cool thing to do, the fire thing to do. Somebody say amen with no cap. Glory to God. Whew, glory. Hallelujah. Here we go. Amen. The cool thing to do, the hot thing to do. John 3, verse 1 and 2, Nicodemus came to the Lord at night. I also came to Jesus at night to be saved. I believe that I am called to many people who will come to the Lord Jesus Christ in the midnight hour. That's right, at night. It might not be night by time for you. Some of you are watching even in the daytime, but it might be your night season. Glory to God. But God sent me to tell you, just like Nicodemus' name, it's a Greek word. Amen. It's made of two root words. Nico, meaning Nike or Nike which equals victory, and then Demas for the people. God told me if I would be faithful to come in the midnight hour and minister his word to his children, that he would promise to give us victory in the midnight hour. Somebody chop it up with me tonight and throw up the V-I-C-T O-R-Y in the comment section. Put victory down. Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 in the NIV says, For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory. I'm telling you tonight, you're not going to even have to fight in this battle, man. The only thing you're going to have to do is stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God is going before you to fight 
against your enemies on your behalf. Who did I come to talk to tonight? Somebody say amen, amen. Now, listen, our subject tonight is real love. Somebody write in the comment section, real love, real love. I'm looking for a real love. It was Mary J. Blige. That's right. That penned the song, real love. <laughs> Some of the lyrics to the song went this way. She says, I've been searching for someone to satisfy my every need. Won't you be my inspiration? Be the real love that I need. Then she says, real love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. I got to have a real love. How many of you know the only one that can give you real love is J-E-S-U-S? -S. Amen. Everybody else, they can love you, but they can't give it to you like God. My God, hallelujah. Somebody else can even bless your life. Somebody else can even set you up. They can put you on. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? They can be your plug. But can't nobody plug you in like God. Boy, I feel like I came to preach to somebody in the midnight hour. Somebody say, I got a new connect. Glory to God. And his name is Jesus. My God. Woo. Who did I come to preach to tonight? Let me give you five tremendous, wonderful things about the love of God. Number one, write it down. Number one, God's love is incomprehensible incomprehensible not able to be understood not intelligible limitless not limited or capable of being limited it's divine love my god what did i just say here hmm do you know god love god's love is so big it's so awesome that you can't even hardly describe it the best thing we can do is put you in the game and try to tell you a little bit about what we know about it. But he blows our mind daily. Glory to God. The Bible even talk about the 24 elders that are in heaven that bow before the throne of God. And every time they rise up, they have to give him glory again because he's done something else. Glory to God. That's how much he loves us, man. His love is what? Incomprehensible. Number two, God's love is unconditional. It's the Greek words. See, the Greeks understood their language is a little different from the English language. English, we say love, and we mean that for everybody. You know, we, we, I love you. That means I love the children. I love the dog. I, you, know, you know, I love my boyfriend. We just throw it all together. This L-O-V-E means I love everybody. But the Greeks understood, and they used different uh, words that meant different love. Filio, stargate. I don't want to get into all that Greek stuff. I know y'all ain't studying all that anyway. But I want to tell you, though, there's a Greek word by the name. This word is called agape love. A-G-A-P-E, -A -A agape love, which means it's love that is unconditional. My God. Romans 8, 38 through 39 talks about that. Paul says, uh, you know, how can I comprehend the depth, the height? What can separate me from the love of God? Principalities, powers, rulers. I mean, he named a bunch of stuff. He said nothing can separate me from the love of God. Why? Because he understood and realized that God's love is unconditional. It's no conditions on it. Amen. Somebody chop it up and say, now that's real love. Amen. Who we got chopping it up? Reuben says, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Reuben said he won't pray for himself. We pray for you, my brother. We lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak peace, prosperity, blessings, and grace over your life. Amen. Who's chopping it up about the real love tonight? Amen. Aren't you tired of fake love? Amen. Aren't you tired of love that has conditions on it? Amen. 
that Nika says we're Psalms 91 equipped. Amen. My wife, Teresa, says victory. Pastor T, amen. I receive real love. Amen. Nikki Nana Rose said Jesus is the connect. Glory to God. You got it, didn't you? Hallelujah. Amen. Real love. Yeah, yeah. Mary J. Blige, real love. Praise God. Real love in the chop shop. I know that's right. Glenda Flowers has the hearts going up saying real love is in the chop shop. But listen to this now. Uh, so, man, uh, you know, people have songs, songs about that. You know, about real love and wanting love. and But how many of you know, if you're looking for a love to set you free, that can only be found in Jesus? So God's love is what? Incomprehensible, number one. Number two, God's love is what? Unconditional. Number three, write this down. God's love is Im, uh, immeasurable. Immeasurable. Ephesians 3 and 18 talks about it. It says it this way. In the New Living Translation, and may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, here it is, wait for it, I'm getting ready to say a word, here it is, and how deep his love is. Keith Sweat, song of song many years ago, how deep is your love? I don't mean to throw back on you like that and have you all clamoring around in your house, but how many of y'all remember Keith Sweat's song, How Deep Is Your Love? Amen. Praise God. Well, he was talking about, you know, individual, personal love. But God says you can't even fathom how deep my love is. He said, my love is so deep, I'll go from the utmost to the guttermost. He said, I'll go from the highest mountain to the lowest valley looking for my children. I hear the Lord say, God is looking for somebody tonight. Glory to God. And you're not down and out. You're up and out. Glory to God. You got a good job. You got a good home. You got good money in the bank, but you're up and out. Glory to God. And then somebody I'm talking to, you down and out. You don't have a good job. For a matter of fact, they laid you off. Glory to God last week. But I come to prophesy in the name of Jesus that the love of God is arresting you tonight. And you're going to see how deep God love is. Amen. Not only Keith Sweat song, How Deep Is Your Love, Drew Hill has a song out, How Deep Is Your Love. But God's love is deeper than any man's love. It's deeper than any woman's love. Somebody throw up the fire tonight and say it's hot in the chop shop tonight. The Holy Ghost is moving by his power. Where are the flames? Where are the hearts? Where are the light? Glory to God. Somebody throw the emoji of praise up. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care because God is in the house tonight. Number four, God's love is free. <laughs> I don't know about you, but there are many people that love stuff that's free. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave. Look at that. You don't have to earn it. Religion would tell you you got to earn it. But Jesus would tell you you got to receive it. It's free. He give it to you willingly, freely. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. How many of you want everlasting life? Don't you see what's going on in this world, man? This world is coming apart at its seams. We get through with one virus, now here come bad weather. They got the lights out in New York City, man, some parts of Texas, and we pray for Texas now. We pray for New York now. For everybody that don't have power, we lift up the name of Jesus. And, Father, we say to restore the power, restore the power so that they might have heat. We pray for every homeless person, Lord God, that is cuddled up uh, be beside a building with blankets on and jackets trying to stay warm. Oh, Lord Jesus, we pray for them tonight. We pray for everybody, Lord God, that's sitting in an empty home, that have that, that a loved one has gone home to be with the Lord, or and, and, and someone is not sitting at the kitchen table. We lift them up tonight, God, because love is compassion as well. Somebody chop it up with me tonight and say God's love is free. 
F R E E. Come on, write it in the comment section. It's free. You ought to put an exclamation point beside it. Free. God's love is free. Come on, hashtag God's love is free. Glory to God. Free. Glory to God. Number five. Here's where we get our title from. God's love is real. It's not fake. And that's no cap. God's love is real. People tell me all the time, Pastor, I love you. Pastor, I love you. I love you. I love the church. I love your wife. Come on, how many of y'all have had somebody tell you they love you? To find out they didn't. It was conditional. But God's love is real, man. It's the realest thing I ever felt in my life. That real love snatched me out of addiction. That real love snatched me from a life of misery and brought me to a life of abundance. I want to pray with you right now tonight that you experience the love of God. That's what you're missing. My son said when he was a guest on the Chop Shop, Kirk, he talked about there's something in us. There's an there's a innate thing on the inside of us that longs for God. And you can look for things to fulfill that void. You can try to fulfill that void with drugs and alcohol and people and uh, importance and money and things and all of the stuff. But there'll be a void there. Because what you're missing is the love of God. I want to pray with you tonight. Romans 10, 9, 10 says it this way. If thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus with thy mouth and believe him in your heart that he is God, that he came from heaven, that he died on the cross, and on the third day he rose again. If you make that confession, say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I believe that you are God. I believe that you died for my sins on the cross. You were buried, and on the third day you rose again. I believe you, Lord, and tonight I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. If you said that prayer, we know you got saved. Write in the comment section, I'm saved. Inbox us, email us at ewmadmn at gmail.com. You can go to our website as well, www.ewmchurch.org. You can find the contact information page or the prayer page. And leave a secure comment there. Man, we love you guys so much. I pray that this was a blessing to you tonight. If it was a blessing, go ahead and throw up the emoji of likes. The hand praise tonight. Come on, send up the likes. Send up the hearts tonight. If you were blessed by God's love tonight, real love, can you throw up the likes and the hearts one more time? Where you at, IG? Come on, throw up the hearts tonight. Throw up the hearts and the likes. Facebook, let's get it. Amen. Well, I want to tell you about our next lit competition, March the 30th. Our next uh, lit competition will be March the 30th, 2021. All of your videos need to be sent in. They need to be 60 seconds or less. You need to send them in to us. You can inbox me at Pastor Kirk Arnold on IG. You can inbox me on Facebook. It's Kirk Arnold. You can also send it in to our um, our. Uh, Email address, Pastor Kirk Arnold at yahoo.com or Pastor Kirk Arnold at gmail.com. But get those videos in. They need to be 60 seconds or less. How you would get lit if everything you were believing for, you had already received. Because it's already done, and we pull it down by faith. And we give God praise in advance because his word is good. So we want this next lit company. We're giving out, I said, $250, but Jalen matched it with a $50 offering. So it'll be 300 I'm going the full 300 yards. Glory to God. $300 to the winner of the Get Lit competition. You can sing. You can rap. You can dance. You know, do everything but shake what your mama gave you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. I mean, if you shake it, though, you know, keep it right. Amen. Keep it nice for the Christians. Amen. If you're going to drop it, pick it back. Up. Somebody say amen tonight. Glory to God. But get those videos in, man. We want to air that winning video and then send that $300. Listen, next week's program, man, we're going to pay it forward. That's next week's subject, pay it forward. 
The Bible talks about, amen, what you make happen for someone else, God will make happen for you. Amen. So sometime, man, you got to serve another man's vision so that you can pay your vision forward. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Ways to support us. Now, we're going to do a real good job on this tonight. They said I hadn't been doing a good job, so listen carefully. Here's the ways that you can support the Chop Shop. Some of you need to start blowing up the Cash App even now. Our Cash App is the dollar sign, G-I-V-E-E-W-M. Come on, if you believe in the millennials, you believe in Generation Z, you believe in what we're doing here at the Chop Shop Church that way, then send in those love offerings tonight dollar sign g-i-v-e-e-w-m even if you're going to watch this later you can still send it in also you can text the give text g-i-v-e-e-w-m to 54244 again text g-i-v-e-e-w-m to 54244 you can also mail it in you can also go to our website www.ewmchurch dot org find the donate button and give that way come on let's blow it up let's give to this man i'm believing for at least 10 people to sow a seed tonight remember man we're chopping it up every wednesday night at 12 midnight and we're doing church